Good evening, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Macquarie Island had another earthquake near its location. I talked about this in my last video. It's a remote Australian outpost in the Southern Ocean, and it's being rocked by chaos. Today, July 29, 2025, a magnitude 6.9 earthquake struck off shore, and it triggered a tsunami alert. I can't give you any information about the tsunami because they have no buoys whatsoever out there. Sitting on a volatile fault line, is this subarctic island facing a new disaster? Things are increasing around the world. Look how many magnitude 6 or larger there have been just within you know the last month or even the week. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake, and I'll bring it out so you can see the Macquarie Fault right there. I got it drawn out in red. On the 26th, there was a magnitude 6.2. Macquarie Island um, is about 1,500 kilometers or 930 miles southeast of Tasmania. Um, it has a population of maybe 20 to 40 people there. Here you can see the Indo-Australian plate. We got the Pacific plate. And then up over here is Tasmania and Australia. I am a believer that God uses nature to try and wake up people. And I talked about this island in my last video. How in the past, when ancient mariners arrived there, they brought rats and mice and it you know, devastated the um, ecology of the island. Then they brought in cats, thinking the cats would get rid of the mice and the rats, and that didn't work. And then they brought in rabbits, thinking that the rabbits would good, be good food for the, you know, the people that come there, you know, uh, hunting and fishing. So between Australia and Tasmania, they took on this huge effort to get rid of all the creatures that ended up there. That were not native to the island. It took a long time and it's finally recovered. There was actually a huge landslide, I believe in 2006, um, that was created because of the rabbits burrowing so many holes on the sides of the cliff. Uh, yeah, it created a landslide. But they have an outpost there and it's really um, close to the water. It's not a very high area where the outpost is at. So, yeah, tsunamis would be devastating for the outpost. Um, the outpost is made to be earthquake resistant because there's so many earthquakes there. They know the danger. Um, but I don't think it could survive a tsunami. These faults are very active because of the movement between the Australian plate and the Pacific plate. Uh, yeah, it's part of the ring of fire. And, yeah, it is a great risk of earthquakes and tsunami. They had a, a magnitude 8.1 in 2004. Let me see if I can find it here. There it is. Okay, we got an 8.1 in 1989. Let's see. All right, it's right up over here. 2004 and 8.1. 2007, a 7.4. Yeah. Supposedly, today's earthquake, the 6.9, was originally a magnitude 7.0 that was downgraded. Yeah, they often downgrade earthquakes, don't they? I don't know why. Let me bring this back out. Got to find the location of that earthquake because I was carrying on about the other ones in the past. This earthquake struck at 8.10 a.m. Australian time. Australian Eastern Time, I suppose it would be, and was about 1,398 kilometers or 868 uh, miles south southwest of Kingston, Tasmania. Originally, they said it was about 10 kilometers in depth, but they changed it to 31 kilometers, which would be about 19 miles in depth. It was given an intensity level of 4. Here on the moment tensor ball, you can see we got spreading. Yep, yep, yep. So a tsunami warning was initially sent out, but then it was lifted. And there was no damage reported because of the remoteness 
of the area where the quake occurred. They're saying that no major tsunami occurred there on the island. So I would like to know what kind of tsunami did they actually have? How, how was it a couple inches? Was it a, a couple feet? You know, like I said, the research station is pretty darn close to the shoreline. The research station is built to withstand supposedly a magnitude 7 earthquake. Um, but it is vulnerable being so close to the shore to uh, tsunamis. And there always could be an underwater landslide and that could amplify a tsunami. You know, just like Saban's magnitude 6.5 earthquake that are reported on, um, that struck fast without any warning. And then, you know, the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, um, Boxing Day tsunami, that killed over uh, 230,000. It is a grim reminder of the region's power. There's supposed to be a tsunami shelter there on the island called Wireless Hill. And I was hoping that Google Earth would take it, take me to it, but it's showing it out in the middle of the ocean. So the closest area would be Ear Bluff. So I don't know if it, that would be the location for their shelter or not. From where the research island is, it's about almost a half a mile. So I don't know over this rocky terrain. I mean, that's a straight line. I mean, how fast can you run, right? Can McCurry Island outlast a tsunami raft? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think about all the penguins that live there and the seabirds. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Always be prepared for disaster. These earthquakes are increasing around the world. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.